Hello, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we have made the hike up to the Longstone, which you can see just behind me here. And this Longstone, there'll be a full video coming out about it later, but this Longstone was supposedly thrown by St. Catherine in a duel with the devil. They were arguing about who should control the Isle of Wight. And so in a duel, they decided to throw massive rocks and whoever got it furthest would win. And this is the one that St. Catherine supposedly threw. This site also gives us insight into the history of the Isle of Wight as a whole. In the last video, we looked at the history of the Isle of Wight all the way up to the Roman era. But now let's dive in to the history of this island from the Anglo-Saxon period onward. While not much is known about the Longstone itself, other than it was set up as part of a Neolithic burial site, we do have information to suggest that it became a meeting place during the Anglo-Saxon era. After the Romans left, the first invaders were the Jutes, with Cerdic and his son Kinric conquering the island in 530. Upon Cerdic's death, rule of the island was given to his nephews Stuff and Witgar. Stuff and his successors would establish a Jutish kingdom on the isle until Wolf here of Mercia invaded, conquered, and converted the island to Christianity. But as soon as he left, the island reverted back to paganism. Arwald was the last king of the Jutes and the last pagan king in Anglo-Saxon England until the Vikings. And when the Vikings came, they came for the Isle of Wight too. The invaders were quick to raid the island, setting it up as their winter base to wage war on mainland England. They ravaged the south from the island, and when the English king Ethelred the Unready died, it was used as the launching pad to establish a Danish king in England. The throne of England was under turmoil for years, and by 1066, the Isle of Wight became a base for a number of the contenders for the crown. First, Tostig, and then his brother, Harold Godwinson. And this leads us right up to the Norman invasion, and to Carisbrook Castle. But that is for another video. So there you have it. Uh, we've just completed the hike back down and in the next video we'll be visiting Carisbrook Castle. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next one.